I'm going to be building you guys the greatest 1 million squad right now on Viva 22 Ultimate oh, Team. It's around 1 million coins on PlayStation. Obviously, Xbox is going to be cheaper because their market is kind of dead. If you're new here, drop a like, subscribe to our channel, turn those notices on. If you've got a 1 million coin squad, it would be rude not to start with this player in your team. So basically, we are going to build our whole team, the 11 players around this one guy. He's the one that's going to cost the most coins. And he's the one that is he's just better than everyone else for, for this sort of price anyway on the game. And it is going to be Neymar. The guy's 5 star, 5 star. Every year on FIFA, he is pretty much the best player. And back here, Ronaldo, they cost way too much. For like 800k, you're getting one of the best cards on the game. Also, down below at the bottom right, you can see our foot champs record. We're 11 and 2. We're going to try and get rank 1. If you want to watch us streaming on Twitch, link is down below. Now we're going to be linking Neymar to this player here. It is a strong link and this guy is a DM. He's actually really good. I think he's, he's so cheap. I know he just got one to watch card. I personally don't think the one to watch card is worth it. Just because even if he does get an inform, I, I still think it'll be cheaper than the one to watch card. And what's the chances of him getting an inform anyway? And the next player in our squad is going to be an easy link. And this guy is dirt cheap as well. Like I said, we've put in most of the coins on Neymar and everyone else is just going to be cheap and meta basically but they're going to be more than good enough honestly you can I can guarantee you that so he's actually not a left back he's a left wing back you can either buy him or change him but yeah he's he's like less than 2k with a shadow he's going to have 98 sprint speed which is obviously maxed out 92 acceleration which will be good enough he'll do a job at left back so that's the easy way that we have linked these three players now the left center back we are going to be going for i've actually got this guy in my club i know a lot of people use him he was in our last squad builder as well just because how good he is and how obviously cheap he is for the price as well he's basically like a, a budget for around we've got a lacro at left center back then the guy next to him he wasn't in our previous squad builder he wasn't in the starting squad but this guy is a beast he's got really good stats a kanji is the gonna be is gonna be the guy that is next to him so that's our two center back sorted and our three other players there with our goalkeeper you can pretty much have anyone that's a bundesliga goalkeeper and it'll work perfectly fine so that's up to you maybe you've got someone untradeable or you've got a certain budget something like that so basically we're gonna go for castiles because he is the cheapest best goalkeeper but yeah stats wise and i think he might be taller would be manuel neuer if you could and now to complete the back five essentially we're gonna put the right back and i'm sure you can guess who this guy is as well because again he's a beast and a lot of people use him he was in our last squad builder as well we have got Kevin and Barbu as the right back. So now you can kind of see how the team is shaping up and we've just got our last four players to do. So in game, we are going to have two DMs eventually and then it's up to you what formation you want to play. 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1. It will work with anything, but basically we're going to have two DMs. Our next DM that we are going to have with Ronaldo because he is our first one is going to be this guy. And if you can get his inform, then it obviously is going to be much better. So I do recommend trying to save up to get his inform. It's like 30k. It might be even less than that. I've actually got this guy in my team and he's actually really good. I think he's slept on a bit. I use him with a shadow and he feels really good in game. So honestly, I'd go for a shadow on the back four. Goalkeeper, you can leave on a basic or use a glove. A shadow on Wijnaldum and Nkunku as well. And with Neymar, I'd just go for a hunter personally. That's my version there. Actually, he's a centre mid. That's why it showed as a concept. Now we've got our last three players to fill up this squad. So the next player we're going to put in, he's actually a winger. I think he's a left mid. So we're going to be running him on 7k once you've got your your manager and you've got your loyalty for this guy once you played 10 games and it's kingsley coroman i'm running him on a marksman you can use a dead eye that might actually be better i'm just experimenting but yeah he feels pretty good for me on the wing anyway so now we've got our last two players and the one that is on right wing is going to be one of my favorite cards he probably is apart from money he's the best card i've used this year excluding uh foot drafts obviously because that's kind of not fair but he's, act he's a right winger on the game, but in my team, he's a right forward. So I'm just going to use this one instead of using uh, a concept card. It's Usman Dembele, of course, 5 star, 5 star. I run him on a dead eye just because he is my cam. But I would say a finisher is really good as well with this guy. He doesn't really need the dead eye. And a finisher does more finishing as well. The last player to complete the squad. I'm not sure if you'll be able to guess this one. Just have a think of who it could be. But yeah, it is going to be uh, the right himself, Wissam Ben Yedar. He's I haven't really played against him many times this FIFA, to be honest with you. But he's still a he's still a beast of a card. There are a couple other players that could work in in these positions. But these are the eleven players that I have built, and on using Footman, it's come around like I said, around a million coins. But it's really beastly. Like I said, the main player we're going to be building this team around was Neymar. He's the main guy. So if you're running two strikers, then you can use Ben Yedar. Neymar as a striker, or you can use 
Dembele as a cam, Neymar, Shryakar, even Chuck Benyard on the wing. But yeah, there's so many players in with this team that you can actually change around if you wanted to. But yeah, give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, drop a like. I appreciate your support a lot. And maybe I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream. Been your boy. Safe.